Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I bleached the hair blonde and then dyed it pink. This is my first time doing something like this. So if you guys have any tips that you'd like to give me for if I do this next time, I will kindly appreciate them and just comment them down. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and let's just get to the video. So I'm not really sure on what I'm supposed to be doing but I have watched a whole load of tutorials so here is the wig I did accidentally make a hole in it by mistake so I just I saw a video with better than melt glue and just did that with it so yeah because I did bleach it then I was like I might as well change it into a different colour and I know it will work but the thing is I'm sorry guys I just ran upstairs <laughs> the thing is this whole wig okay I thought it wouldn't fit in here. Anyways, let's get into the bleach. So here's the two bleaches. Well, the bleach and the bow part. I'm gonna put a bit of the actual bleach in first. This is new, so I'm not really sure on how to use it. Oh my gosh, that is so strong. That is stronger than my other one. I'm just gonna put a whole load of it in here. I hope this turns out right. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. I'm not sure if that's enough or not. I've literally decided to put Arnell's video on so I get an idea of what to do. So I'm just gonna do it. And just pour a whole load of developer in here. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna mix it with this because I have nothing else to mix it with. Here's a wig, so I'm just going to put it in. I know I should have used something bigger, but I don't have anything bigger. Like one of them pots that everybody else uses. This is just scary. Oh my gosh. I think I should have put more. But let me just do something like this. I want to keep the lace up so I can actually see it but I know I'm just going to have to put it in. These were already bleached. The knots were bleached because I thought I was just going to do a black installation. But was I like, oh my gosh, I can do pink again. I haven't done pink in like two years. So was I like, girl, you might as well do it. I really need to be careful because of the bit that I ripped by accident. I think I need to add a little bit more developer I know I'm actually going to use the whole thing look at that the inside oh my gosh I missed bits out I'm going to have to add more developer because look at that it's already changing colour but I need to sort out that Just gonna leave it for 10 minutes and I'll be back. Bye. So it's been like 10 12 minutes, and this is what it looks like it's kind of hot, but not that hot. And then not all of it has like changed color. So I may have to leave this on for like 40 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm not too sure but I'm going to do like a check in every 10 minutes so you guys can see what's happening but literally it's gone to that like brassy colour I need it a bit different so it could be easier to dye 
literally this is the color that it's at right now so this is after 20 minutes i think i'm gonna wash it or leave it for five more minutes and then wash it i know that it's defo hot that's why i'm using the end of my hairbrush but it's not to like a really light color that i want and i know that defo most of this hair hasn't been bleached but i am gonna leave it just for 10 more minutes and then wash all of this out and then do another mixture because this ain't it like oh so guys it has been i think 30 minutes i'm gonna leave it in for another 15 so it's 45 altogether then i'm gonna wash it out with purple i can't wash it out with purple shampoo because i don't have any so i'm gonna put conditioner on it and then i have purple conditioner but i don't have purple shampoo because it finished so i'm just gonna do the purple conditioner leave it on 15 minutes then wash it out normally then do another process of this but like in a few hours when my sister comes back because she's gone to buy purple shampoo so i'm gonna do another process of this but then leave the bleach on for like an hour or something i, I literally just watched the video and now i know what to do so i'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes this is what it looks like there are bits that basically look black to me but i think that's just because of the way the bleach is on the hair but i will make it work but this is what the hair will be looking like right now i have had the bleach on for 45 minutes because of a different video that i saw and i think that it's gonna work and it's like hot but not really really hot as before and look at that i knew there was bits that i missed out and it looks dark but why? I don't know, but half of it looks light, half of it looks dark. I'm going to wash this out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So this is the colour of the hair right now. This is literally still, it's basically dark brown and this isn't what I want. But look at the front, this is what I'm trying to get it to. And then the bottom wasn't cooperating. I'm just going to do another bleaching session but off camera and then I will get back to you guys when I finish that. I think it could last another three, especially with the way it's looking right now because this is not the colour that I want. I need it like really really light up, at least to this. If the second bit goes to this then I will be happy but I know this could last another two bleaching sessions just because of the quality of tanashi hair I know that their quality is really good so i have no doubts about that but this color is pretty too and guys i swear i could see black but yeah anyways i'll see you guys when i finish the second bleaching session hey excuse my appearance right now i just wanted to tell you guys what i did so basically instead of bleaching it in the same way that I did the first time, for the second and third time I just did it with um, tin foil. So I just did layers and layers of each of the um, bleach and then I put the tin foil and wrapped it over and I left that for an hour every single time and washed it with purple shampoo. And that's really it, that's all I really wanted to say. The reference is on TikTok, my TikTok. It should be up today, but I'm not really sure. But it should be on TikTok soon, so just follow my tiktok if you guys want to see what i mean now i'm just gonna be coloring the hair here is the hair by the way this is i bleached it three times and i don't want no hair in there so i bleached the hair three times and this is the color that i got really like it i'm happy with what i've achieved i think that it will dye really well in my opinion I am watching another video that I found on YouTube to see how to get this watercolour thing right. It's taking the Adore hair dye in neon pink. I might mix a bit of pink petal and the black one as well. But I'm just going to take neon pink inside it first. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Is that enough? If it's not enough I'll just add some more. Taking my Slay by Bailey comb and mixing it. You can call me a colorist. No, no. You can't call me a colorist just yet. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Because I really need the bottom bit to be like that. So I have the hair. I'm just going to dip it in. I'm going to do like less than half 
I'm not sure. I'm just gonna do it because I'm scared. Okay. Okay, so I'm just doing less than half first, but then dipping more as I gradually get confident with it. I'm just using this. It's time, guys. Ah, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, no! Who am I? Get at me to colour your hair. This is gorgeous. No. That, that. Oh my gosh. I did that, guys. <laughs> ah! I'm so happy. I need to make sure it doesn't get mixed in with the other bit. Okay, now I can do a little bit more. I'm trying, I'm trying to see where half is. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. I think that's enough, but I do kind of want this colour to be a bit darker. But you know what, guys? It's my first go. I can literally do this again whenever. So I think that's fine. Now I need to pour this water out and then do the top. I forgot to do a really important step, which is what got to be on the lace. So I'm going to do that real quick. Yay, my desk is stained. So now I'm putting pink petal in, and this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put all of it in since I definitely can't do a strand test now or half of it. Yeah, I'm gonna do half of it. With this one, I'm just gonna put all of it in, and let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Great. I'm gonna have to put all of it in there. Oh my gosh, guys. Basically, the back, it definitely didn't die. Look at that. You know what? I'm leaving it. Oh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. That. It's got little brown bits. I'm leaving it, I don't care. Okay. So I'm just sorting this out. Next time, guys, I'll be doing this near a sink because <laughs> this ain't practical. Especially because there's literally water dripping everywhere. I'm literally going to leave it to sink in for a bit because. Of like the mixed colors I think the mixed colors will make it look better but we'll see in the install no oh, I can't wait to install this in a couple of days but this is the color that I ended up getting I like it but it's not what I thought it would be only because I did do the bleaching wrong but it was my first time we all learn our things um this is the end of the video as well i hope you guys enjoyed it i am sorry that i didn't show you ev like every bit of the bleaching process as well but if you like you can go over to my tiktok my chair's spinning around i did a mini tiktok where i showed like nearly all of the process of how i did it but yeah um if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye